This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice for entertainment, educational purposes only, and everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all YouTube album and stuff. You can visit, I put them out, see what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. Listen, Credit Suisse is in trouble, and it's a lot worse than we thought. You know, after doing a little research today into Credit Suisse, because everything that was going on in the market, it seemed that Credit Suisse is currently under investigation again. And this time for tax fraud. In 2014, approximately eight years ago, Credit Suisse paid a fine of $2.6 billion for helping bad actors hide assets. And they, they pled guilty, but of course nobody goes to jail, but they pled guilty. They paid a fine of $2.6 billion. And now eight years later, it seems like Credit Suisse is still helping the bad actors hide their assets from the government. If anybody else, if any part of 99% was involved in something like that, they would be under the jail. But Credit Suisse pays the fine and allegedly continued in the same illegal activity. You know why? Because there's no jail time. And the money they make from breaking the law from being criminals is a lot less than the fine. So they continue with the bad behavior. And and the thing is, last month in September of 2022, Credit Suisse settled for $32.5 million, a lawsuit for misleading their shareholders. Especially with the exposure to the collapse or Kagos, which was a $120 billion loss. And they also lost $10 billion to green silk funds in another lawsuit for, for other illegal activity. Credit Suisse is just a criminal enterprise all onto itself. And then in April of this year, Credit Suisse lost a $500 million lawsuit to the former Georgia Prime Minister for making illegal trades. So it seems like, and of course we know they were they were found criminally liable for helping people launder money. Credit Suisse, one of the major banks in the world, is just an ongoing criminal enterprise and everyone knows about it. The SEC knows, the DTCC knows, obviously the DOJ knows, the CFTC knows, but everybody allows them to keep robbing retail investors, keep robbing pension funds, and they continue the illegal activities because everybody profits from their illegal behavior. But because we all know about it, because it has become public knowledge, I believe that Credit Suisse is going down because the regulatory agencies cannot sit on the sidelines anymore because everyone knows what's going on with Credit Suisse and their criminal activities. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button, all the YouTube algorithm stuff, and tell me what you think about Credit Suisse paying a fine of $2.6 billion in 2014 and now, in 2022, they're being investigated for the same thing again. Nothing changes with these bad actors. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button, all the YouTube algorithm stuff. I appreciate you on the journey with me. God bless.